Okay, so this is the Belvedere Palace. It's located in Vienna, Austria. Um, the architect responsible for it is Johann Lucas von Hildebrandt. Hildebrandt. Um, it's from the Baroque era um, time period. The historical relevance. So it was built for Prince Eugene of Savoy. A famous military commander, um, he fought against the Ottoman Empire, um, and it's important uh, because it it's a really big part of Austrian um, history and culture. So it took over a, the course of nine years to build. Um, it was from seventeen fourteen to seventeen twenty three. And uh, defining characteristics of this building is that it actually was made, it's made of two separate buildings, and they're referred to as the Upper and Lower Belvedere. Um, and the fountains, the gardens, sculptures, um, the decorations, are, those are all, like, defining characters that I noticed. Um, the historical contributions of the artist so, um, Johann Lucas von Hildebrandt, the architect, he was an important um, Austrian architect, and he was a favorite of Prince um, of the Prince um, Eugene of Savoy, and he designed many buildings for him. Um, an observation. So, a personal observation: the gardens. That is the reason why I chose to talk about this palace. I mean, the architecture is beautiful, but the gardens, like, definitely made it so much more beautiful. Um, and I would say it compares to other works um, of this time period because the architecture is... Sorry, my cat. I have a kitten now, and it's scratching my mirror right now. So disregard that. But... It compares to other works of this time period because a lot of, like, the Baroque architecture is similar and it has a similar look. And, yeah. Um, and a fun fact is that the Austrian State um, Treaty in 1955 was signed there, which um, this treaty reestablished Austria as an independent in, uh, state. So...